with some porridge that I made and I thought I would do a chatty get ready with me because maybe I've done one before but I really don't think I have and I used to love watching Shannon's, Shanexo chit chat get ready with me's. I don't really watch that many makeup videos anymore but I used to love watching them so I thought you know what I will give it a go. Put way too much maple syrup on this damn porridge, it's like floating in it. Ugh. Oh my god it's hot. Hey now. Okay so I've got quite a lot of new makeup to try today. I actually bought two two foundations in Liberty the other day just because I'm really not liking mine. I normally wear the MAC Studio Fix and it's just not working for me. So I bought the Laura Mercier Silk Cream and the Hourglass like triangle stick one. But this I think is way too dark. Pretty sure I got completely the wrong shade. So I might have to sell that on Depop and go back and get a different shade. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with this one. Do you like my little pom-poms? I bought these, I've got a black set as well, I bought them for Halloween tutorials and then obviously I took a month off so I never ended up doing my Halloween videos but I'm saving them for next year because I'm still going to do the same tutorials that I wanted to do. But yeah, let's try this foundation shall we? I was watching TOWIE last night, if you don't know what TOWIE is it's The Only Way is Essex like a reality TV show in England. It was the Chloe Sims birthday episode, I had to catch up. They said they were going to see Gabrielle and oh my god it's made me fall back in love with Gabrielle's music. I used to be such a fan, we used to listen to it in the car and I totally forgot she was ever even a thing until that episode so those people who say Towie is a waste of time, it's not. <laughs> If you're wondering why I've got a Christmas tree and why it's up so early, I've done a vlog on my second channel, I will leave that linked below, so please don't ask because it's all in that video. Yes, I'm not the biggest Christmas fan, but I do try and like it. Quite digging this foundation, I haven't even been looking in the mirror when I've been putting it on. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on, I think. By the way guys, these videos, if I carry on doing them, they're not going to be tutorials. Well, I mean they kind of are if you guys want to follow along, but I'm just doing it more like, uh, just get ready with me. Like if my friend was sat in the room. Hello. <laughs> friends. Also, if I do these videos in the future, do you want me to talk about a certain topic? I feel like the only topic anyone is really talking about right now is the US election, which I don't want to go into, but I think Donald Trump is an absolute knobhead. There's my two cents. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this foundation. Why have I never tried this? Quite a full coverage foundation. So if you guys don't like that, you probably won't like it, but yeah. I bought these two concealers. I bought this one, which is almost white because I don't have a concealer pale enough for when I don't have fake tan on. But I also bought the shade Light and I feel like this might be a bit too orangey, which is so strange because it's the shade Light, but we'll see. I do really like this concealer though. I've tried the corrector, it's like a pinky toned one and it's really good so I thought I'd buy this concealer. Ooh, loving it. I've also got this powder, I got it sent to me and it's by Rodial and it's an Instagram compact deluxe banana powder and I've never tried any banana powder so I'm gonna try this underneath my eyes to set that concealer. quite nice. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this Rimmel Wake Me Up. Is it Wake Me Up? No, Rimmel Powder? Stay Matte Powder. Oh my god. I remember when everybody used to rave about this powder. I'm thinking about doing that video that's called like YouTube Made Me Buy It or something where you show all the products that YouTube literally made you buy because you were just suckered into buying them. Might actually film that after I've filmed this, so let me know if you want to see it. If you don't, I won't upload it, but yeah, let me know. Guys, that foundation is freaking beautiful. What the heck? I don't know how it's looking on camera because I can't really see the viewfinder from here, but oh my god, it looks delicious. <laughs> I've also got this contour powder from Rodeal. I'm gonna try this. I don't normally like contour powders, but I've got this brush from YSL. It's a contour and highlight br brush and I really want to try the contour side, so I thought I would try a contour powder. I normally just put quite a warm toned bronzer in my cheekbones. That really works for me, but let's try. Oh, I like this already. Yes. Guys, I love that. 
can you see? That looks so good. I'm just going to go in with my usual bronzer though, which is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. I've had this for so long, but I love it. And you can see the colour tone difference. That's the contouring powder. Crazy. I'm just going to bronze my face up. I'm going to put some highlighter on. I'm using the Urban Decay Sin Highlighter, which has fallen out of its thing. Oh no. But I'm going to use this on the highlight side of this brush. Can I just say this brush is the softest thing ever? Yes. Can you guys let me know in the comments what your favourite TV show is? because I want some more TV shows to watch. I've just finished Black Mirror. I do understand it. Well, uh, no, that's a lie. I understand parts of it, but I don't think it's as good as everyone's saying it is. Everyone's like absolutely raving about Black Mirror and I just don't think it's as good. Me and Sarah watched the whole of the last series in a day and not digging it too much, but I want to start watching The Vampire Diaries again. I left off at the end of season six and apparently it's on like season eight now or something. Oh my God, I totally forgot about my porridge. <gasps> Please don't be cold. Mm. So I'm going to start watching that again. This is like a mukbang. Mm. But if there's anything else you guys think I should watch, I've watched, to be fair, I've watched a lot of stuff. PLL will always be my favourite show. I'm just going to put some blush on. Benefits Rocketeur. It's the most perfect blusher. I'm trying out some new brushes today that I've been sent. This is a Kiko one. Honestly, so good for blush. That just blended it so well. I don't even know the name of it, but it's just in red packaging. I've got hiccups now after that porridge. Okay, moving on to eyes. I'm gonna test out this Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow. I'm quite nervous to try this. I don't know how well it's gonna blend. Actually, before I put it on, I'm gonna put a color in the crease from the Naked Basics palette. I'm, I'm gonna take Tempted. Ooh, that's a lot darker than I thought it would be. When do you guys break up from school? I know it's probably not yet because obviously Christmas is in December, but yeah, let me know when you guys break up. And also, what kind of videos do you want to see from me from now on? because I would kind of like to do more casual videos like this. But also, I don't know if you guys like my like celebrity tutorials and stuff where they're kind of more sped up and less chatty. Let me know what you like in the comments. I also would like to start trying testing some products. I really like Tati's channel, Glam Life Guru, and she just tests some products like, oh my God, Wednesdays or something, I don't know what it's called. I would really like to start doing that just cause some products look so fun to try out. Right. I'm going in with this eyeshadow. I'm nervous. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. What the heck? This is beautiful. Wow. That's so nice. I think these must be new because I've never heard anybody talk about it. Okay, so now that's on, I do want to deepen the crease up a bit. Everyone always asks where I get these brushes from. They're from Sephora and I bought so many when I was in New York and they're honestly such good brushes. I'm going back to New York in January and I'm gonna just stock up on more because I really love them. has gone so different to what I was gonna do. I was literally gonna just sit and do winged liner, <laughs> but hey ho, this is fun. I don't know whether to put eyeliner on or not. I think I might do. I've got this like purpley eyeliner. All right guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and come back to you because Eyebrows stress me out. <laughs> Guys, I got carried away watching Casey Neistat and I forgot to check back in. Hello. <laughs> I also think I've just opened the blind too much. Now I feel like I'm too bright, but whatever. I, all I did was put some mascara on and do my eyebrows. And now I've just put some glue on an eyelash and I'm gonna stick some eyelashes on. Okay, finally onto lips. I'm gonna use this Kylie Cosmetics 
Love Bite Lip Kit. I've never actually tried this one on before, so I'm hoping I like it. So this is my finished makeup. Let me know if you like it in the comments. And if you guys want me to do more of these chatty get ready with me, let me know. I've literally just got ready for the day. It is now quarter to two. <laughs> I'm still eating my porridge, but yeah, I'm gonna go out in a minute. Don't know where I'm gonna go actually. I just think I might explore a new area of London. I'm fancying going to Sloan Square, which is super expensive and I can't buy anything there, but it's so pretty and I just like, I just feel like going somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like more of this style. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>